Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of series solution of differential equations and some special functions. I am Gautam Manna, pursuing PhD in physics from IIT Kanpur. So let's look at what are the things we will be learning in this course. So these are the course contents. In the first class, I will be giving you some prerequisites. So those are what are the what what do you mean by power series uh, and Taylor series expansion radius of convergence index shifts differential equations and then some special differential equations those we will be solving and we will be uh, looking at different properties of them now in the next few classes uh, we will be learning series solution of this differential equations so if you are given a differential equation uh, then we will try to find a power series solution around some point on that context the recurrence relation will come uh, and then whether a differential equation is at all solvable around some point uh, so on that context we will be learning the ordinary differential uh, or the ordinary point the singular points there will be two kind of singular points one is this regular singular point another one, one is this essential singular point and there will be a method that is the Frobenius method which we will apply if we are given a regular singular point and ask to find out a power series solution of a differential equation and we will do lots of examples and when we will learn how to find out power series solution of a differential equation we will uh, take some special differential equations and we'll try to solve them you know and we will try to uh, look at different properties of them so one such is the legendary function so there we are we will be given a special differential equation that will be called the legendary differential equation and uh, the solutions of the differential equation those will be the legendary polynomials and okay instead of solving uh, the differential equation and getting the so legendary polynomials there are other ways of uh, the of deriving these polynomials also so those things will be discussed in this Rodriguez, Rodriguez formula and generating function and uh, there will be lots of recurrence relations in that context then we'll be talking about the orthonormality of this legendary polynomials so orthonormality is basically orthogonality and then normalization orthogonality i mean we all have uh, uh, i think no we all uh, know that uh, in case of vectors cartesian vectors orthogonality means whether the these two are perpendicular like the angle between them is 90 degree but these are the legendary polynomials these are functions so we will be learning what do you mean by orthogonality in that case okay then we will normalize them so that means we will make them of unit length so and in after that we will be learning this legendary series which is basically if you are given a function then we will we will uh, write it as a linear combination of this legendary polynomials it's similar like uh, Fourier series okay so there if you are given a function we will be uh, we, we, we wrote them as a, as a linear combination of sine cosine series so here we will be write, uh, writing them as a uh, linear combination of this legendary polynomials uh, then we will be talking about different uh, a, a kind of uh, different kind of legendary functions that is associate legendary function and we will uh, try to visualize or have a graph of uh, this legendary associate legendary functions how they look like and this visualization visualization is uh, very important uh, so i will go to the application part and then you will know why this visualization part is that important okay next we will be talking about the bessel function and here we will be talking about the first first kind and second kind of bessel function we will be uh, plotting them I mean looking we're looking at them how they look like and then recurrence relation 
generating function orthonormality the same thing as the as dis discussed in the legendre function also and then some special kind of bessel functions like uh, spherical bessel function angle function etc okay in case of hermite function also the same story will be solved will these there will be solutions like the so we will so will be uh, solving the differential equation and get the hermite function then there will be another generating function from where also we can get the hermite functions there will be visualizations recurrence relations or the orthonormality etc for liger functions also there will be i mean the same story like generating function orthonormality and visualizations okay so now the important question is uh why these are so important so what are the applications of that okay before that uh, let me talk about what are the references i'm going to use so these are the references uh, this mathematical methods in physical sciences and uh, so this is a book for mathematical methods whoever is doing uh, 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 undergraduate physics this is a very good book for them and this second book special functions for scientists and engineers this is a very good book i think you all should have that okay there are methods of you know having the p uh, pdf copy so i think you can manage to find this book and i will follow some online contents also there are also other kind other books available for example if you can follow if you want to follow this arfkin that is also a good book okay but i will be following this this two books okay okay so now why those uh, special functions we are interested in why those are so important so as i am from physics background i will be uh, discussing the applications in physics okay so these are the applications uh, in quantum mechanics if we when we learn the quantum mechanics we will counter a quantum harmonic oscillator you know so in that case the solution of this quantum harmonic oscillator those will be hermite functions now there will also be a hydrogen atom problem so in the hydrogen atom problem if we solve this hydrogen atom in spherical polar coordinate so there will be radial part and there will be an angular part for this radial part we will get the lagar functions for this angular part we will get the legendre and associate legendre functions okay so these are very useful to so to have a visualization of how this wave function of this hydrogen atom will look like or uh, how the electron cloud looks like in a, in 3d like around the nucleus how the electron cloud look, looks like so in order to have a visualization you need to know the lagar functions and the legendre and associate legendre functions okay next waves so in case of acoustic or electromagnetic wave propagation in cylindrical coordinate bessel function is i mean that's the solution for example if you have a kind of circular membrane also and you are generating the different modes like if a tabla and you are generating different modes in that you know then the solution is the bessel function the bessel modes now if you have paraxial wave equation and cylindrical coordinate then you will be getting this lagar function you might have heard about this lagar gaussian modes and all so when we when you will be learning this quantum mechanics and this waves and all so there uh, these kind of special functions those will be the solutions basically so there it will be useful and there are also several other applications i'm not mentioning okay so that's all for the motivation part and from the next class we will be so in uh, for this for the next class i will be uh, talking about some prerequisites of the course okay so i'll be mainly focusing on what do you mean by series power series and some important properties of that 
and then what do you mean by differential equation and what are the special functions what are those differential special differential equations that we are interested in okay so that's all for today bye